I don't know, uh, I'm trying to do the best, you know, to uh, illustrate the story I'm illustrating. So um, I'm calling it illustration. For me, that's my work. You know, my work is to find the best way to uh, illustrate the, the text. And you know, really, the name, even of the name of illustration, uh, comes from a very old Latin word that is lustra, mm -hmm. is lustro, that is to put a line light on, and that's my work. You know, to put a line on a, of a, some part of the text and to merge things that are not on the text. You know, for me, a good illustrator is not somebody that exactly illustrates what is what is it written on the text, but who. Um, goes, you know, on different way and speaks different things, you know, uh, that are not on the text. You know, when you draw, I think most most of the people think that uh, you know you have such sort of talent in your hand you know and it's not a thing you know there is some artists that even can't use their hands you know like Matisse one time because he used to have uh, the Alzheimer so so he can but you know the biggest part of a painter of illustrator is um, to have um, an eye on things you know and to look a lot uh, and to observe you know the thing so the nature the people is something i'm used used to look a lot at because to draw something well you have to know it very well and that's something that some people doesn't understand sometimes you know um, there is the people that asking me to uh, to do uh, you know like this uh, i don't know uh, a type of dog uh, that i don't know that i haven't seen or um, or a dragon for the first time and you know always I said okay I never drew it I never observe it I never reflect about it before so if I do it now it won't be good you know because you have first you know to observe and to understand how it works you know all of the shape that you can find in nature have um, uh, have a construction, have something, you know, uh, that you can understand how is it made, and then you can recreate it. Favorite material I use is mostly gouache and oil on paper for most of the time, uh, like this work. This is an original one. So I use a technique with a lot of, of um, sort of uh, layers and varnish of gouache and then I put the oil and on this particular piece, on this particular original, I use also collage because it was a sort of very childish story for this one. Sometimes I use a technique that looks like, you know, old pictures, you know, old daguerreotype photography. So here I use also gouache and oil, but uh, with caracol and uh, sometimes to, you know, to the original to look a little old and broken, I use some cutter here, you know, that I, if you see uh, the back of the original, you can actually see how, you know, I made it. And you know, this color, of yellow is the oil, you know, that uh, merge to the, to the paper. Sometimes also I can use other techniques like this one, this is watercolor and uh, dark uh, stone, so the name in French is Pierre Noir, I think it's dark stone in English, and uh, with some uh, grouch Rio and with a little of oil at the end. And for example, I have, I have some example here. I have this too also. Here, it's um, some watercolor and ink on paper. And the paper has been uh, 
make look like it is old with simply coffee, like this one <laughs> that I put, you know, the paper is white, but when, when you put coffee in it, on it, you can, you know, have a look that look more old because the story of uh, of uh, this uh, illustration was um, about a, an old scientist about 19th century so I had to do you know some very precise rows that looks like it has been done you know mm -hmm. on a late 19th century I think so. I think when you're doing something, uh, there is not just one interpretation, there is not just one way to see it. Everybody can see it on a different way. And uh, even when you created it, you have your own way of think about it. It's not the only way of think about it. I think so. Thanks for the interview. Thank you very much. <laughs>